teeth. How are you today? Welcome back to my channel. This segment today will be in reference to warm spring fragrances. Yes, warm spring fragrances. You want to know why? Because it's the spring of the year. <laughs> it doesn't really feel that warm outside right now, honey. But the florals, flowers, all around the communities are sprouting up. And that's a clear indication that it's spring. So now you can pull out your little warm tire, you can hang up the coats, and you can start a new season. Hopefully you're gonna do that with your tire. Hopefully you're gonna do that with your lawns and watching and observing and planting all the beautiful floral flowers and everything. And not only are you gonna do that, hopefully you're gonna pull out your most flor floral spring fragrance. Yes. And that's why I'm coming to you today in reference to warm spring fragrances. But before I do that, I want to say thank you, subscribers. Thank you, commenters. Thank you, you likers. All of you people that have been on my channel and recognizing and commenting on my channel and reviewing my channel and watching and observing and informing me of certain issues revolving certain circumstances and what your aspirations and wishes are. I want you to know I hear you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm enjoying uh, commenting with you. I appreciate that. But before I get into this video, I just want you to know that, honey, if I'm not mistaken, the government recently announced that the shutdown order has been lifted and i think that's a wonderful thing because of the fact that it has been a horrific experience for everyone and i'm not saying that we're out of the you know critical stages of this particular circumstance right now but apparently the virus has reached its peak and since the virus has reached its peak it's some it means that People aren't getting as sick as often as they were. They aren't being hospitalized as often as they were. And some normalcy happens to be coming back to society. And that's why they have lifted the stay-at-home ban on society throughout the nation. And I think that's a wonderful thing. So maybe society can come back to some type of normalcy soon. But it's going, from my understanding, it's going to be gradual, exceptionally gradual. But however... It's established, it, but the government had because the government has implemented um, a discontinued date of the shutdown, government shutdown, and stay at home order. And I think that's wonderful. But however, this monstrous virus happens to be still out there, from my understanding. And so, my recommendations are to everyone still just continue to wear your mask and protect yourself and your loved ones. And also, Taking into consideration that we, I, gratitude is definitely deserved by the doctors and nurses, all the first responders on the first row, the firemen, the ambulance people, all of the grocery chain individuals working, the truck drivers, the package carriers, FedEx. <laughs> I love FedEx. <laughs> I just want you to know that. I thank you so much during this crisis situation for the support you've given to this country because there were some of you that weren't affected because you were classified as essential and so you haven't had a break but hopefully the crisis will be over and you won't have to work so hard and everything will be back to normalcy but right now I just want to say thank you and the only way I can do it is do this video so without any further ado I'm going to go on back to my regular segment which happens to be like I said before warm spring fragrances and the first one i would like to introduce you to happens to be dolce cabana dolce cabana floral drops this is this one here happened to be named dolce cabana floral drops and it wears a specific classification a classification on this one happens to be floral <laughs> flowery <laughs> springy all of those wonderful attributes. And that's why I'm bringing this fragrance to you today because look at the top of it. The cap. There's such a beautiful bottle with a bow tie on it and everything. And look at that. A flower. A daisy. Right on top of it. Or a lily or something. It doesn't have an aroma. But anyways, the fragrance does. It has a beautiful, 
aroma it's so enticing oh my god i would have to explain to you that the aroma in this particular fragrance happened to be so highlighted by sweet floral notes and tones and to the point that it establishes a sensual calming sensation it's extremely calming because it's very pleasing appealing and excessively pleasing it's a ple pleasant scent and I want you to know that with the floral notes that's compiled within this particular fragrance, it's, it's extremely, extremely soft. Very soft and light. It's soft, light, and delicate at its top notes. And then it goes into this here rom romantic type of sensuality that displays a sweet floral aroma that's very, very calming. And I find that very, very pleasant. And that the pleasantness happens to be distributed from the green notes that distributed itself throughout the um, penetration of these notes as they begin to dis elevate themselves. It, the pleasant notes happen to be more admirable and more detectable from the green notes, which also grants you the perception that there's a great deal of earthy notes in here which happens to be the green but it's very sweet very sweet and very appropriate for the spring of the year but anyway the, it, the, there's a little detection of wooded notes in here also which possibly makes it gives it it's i've never said this before but with the green and the wood combined for some reason the way the notes are aligned it makes it very very light and generally wood notes to me are excessively hard but it must be the musk that's in here also that makes it smell a little bright. I'm going to apply a little bit because I've been wanting to conduct a video on this particular fragrance for quite some time. Because once I attained it, I was waiting for the appropriate occasion. And I can't think of a better occasion than to present this one to you as a specific uh, spring, warm spring fragrance and because it has warm spring scent and aroma applied toward this your fragrance it doesn't and it's like a little whipped cream applied to it kind of creamy like a twist of sweetness so sweet where it smells like whipped cream not edible whipped cream but just lovely atmospheric until the point where it flows it just penetrates itself and is very alluring and very detectable and very admirable it's a sensual fragrance like i said before but yet and still it has this here creamy like purifying aroma applied to it that's very lovely and the, and a little twist of bitterness that make you feel like i think the bitterness is what makes it uh, smells a lot more romantic it's romantic yeah very romantic so i would highly recommend this one for i would think that this would be like an evening date when you go out in the afternoon in the springtime almost like in your little sundress or your little spring dress with a little spring jacket on and you put a little bit of this on so it can penetrate and flow throughout the air as you maneuver i just want you to know that this here is like a trailing fragrance in other words it's it follows it follows you and it leaves a trail as <laughs> as you Maneuver. It's very, very lovely, very appealing and attractive, very sensual, and it's fresh. It's it smells fresh. It has a wonderful aroma applied to it, and I really, really love it. And this is the first time I. This is not the only Dolce Gabbana that I have, but the first time I um, tried this one. It's been in there for a while, but it's the first time I tried it, and I don't have any complaints. I find it very lo lo lovable and adorable. And I highly recommend this one for my warm spring fragrance choice. One of them, because this is, appears to be for a very, very young individual, but I think I would love it as well. Because I'm not going to put an age restriction on this because of all of the attributes that it has going on as far as like the top notes the top notes had some citric going on in it and it has some orange blossom applied toward this watery fruit blossoms fruity fruity blossoms applied to this in the heart of this and you might not believe it but it has a little bit of narcissus, narcissus and bellaconia and lilies 
of the valley applied to this here fragrance and it's very attractive and the base of course that's where your wooded musk aromas penetrating from and it has some musk and a lot great deal of cashmere and that makes it very very appealing to me all but those the way they are combined and the way they distribute themselves and definitely the green um tone that's penetrating from the fragrance itself and also by the color of the content in the bottle being green that just makes it much more divine so i highly recommend to you Dolce Cabana. So pick you up some of this. You will not regret it. Trust me. It's lovely. And moving right along, I have another one here. I'm going to show you this container. The container here happens to be, it, this fragrance is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. But it's not just Daisy by Marc Jacobs. It's Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Oh, ooh, so fresh. Not Eau de Perfume, but ooh, so fresh. And by the way, both of these are toilets. This here is an EDT. And this right here is an EDT. And I want you to know that these here two EDTs are very potent fragrances. And getting into this, look at this. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> look at that. Can you introduce spring any better than this here uh, container? This bottle happens to be exquisitely divine. All of the beautification applied toward all these little daisies on top of here in bright yellow in color. The bottle is bright yellow in color. The, the content inside of the container, the bottle itself, is beautifully divine. It isn't really out very plain to me because it could be very plain. If you take this off, look at it. <laughs> but you put this on, it's like putting a big Easter hat on top of it, which makes it so lovely and attractive. But anyways, these here are daisies. It just has all of these daisies applied on top of here, this bottle in such a beautiful um, arrangement to where it's absolutely adorable. I just love it. It's, I've seen many of these around, but th I just happen to have this is my only one. And they come in such large variation. It's like he invents a new one almost every year. Um, they have various colors. They have the bright, the Udo so fresh. Udi so fresh and they have the dream and they have the daisy and they are all very very popular fragrance that Marc Jacobs has developed here um the color of the bottle it may look like it's a bottle happens to be um it may look like the bottle happens the content in the bottle happens to be yellow but the bottle happens to be yellow the the bottle does happen to be yellow the color of the bottle is yellow because the bottle represents yellow flowers. Not only yellow daisies on the top, it's in coordination with the bottle would happen to be yellows, which is a representation of yellow flowers. But enough with the bottle itself. It has very, very limited notes in this here particular fragrance. It has um, only a few notes but before we get into that this here happens to be a limited edition a limited edition and the ones that i just mentioned to you a moment ago they were also limited editions and he, there happens to be one orchestrated originated almost every year so if you check his uh fragrance distribution and manufacturing of his fragrances, you will see exactly how many of these here uh, additions that he has established, which are all beautiful and they're all different colors and they're very attractive. And they also consist of it. This fragrance right here also consists of an exceptionally amount of fragrant floral notes, which are also exceptionally very sensual and the green and an exceptional amount of green notes. Which grant, oh my god, the fragrance even smells yellow. How can it smell yellow? It must be because there's a great deal of citric in it. Yeah. Okay, where are you? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's so delicate. It's exceptionally delicate. It has vanilla, which grants it a delicate smell. And it's, oh my god, almonds. Almonds make it smell so refined. And... 
It smells a little bit of aquatic as well, and it's very, very fresh to the point where it's extremely mouth-watering. And it also has a soft, soft, delicate, powdery smell toward it, and it's very uplifting. And I think that's coming from the green notes because it's only a couple in here, but it's, it has a, a smell of all of these combination of notes that also give it a little bit of uplifting of some greenery, which is very appropriate for the springtime of year. And that's why I've chosen these fragrances to present to you today because of the fact that they give you such that warm, sunny day of spring season. All of it's coming right back to you with this particular fragrance, warm, sunny day of the spring season with all of these here daisies sprouting from the ground. A feel of daisies everywhere. That's the type of atmosphere, environment, or vibe you get from this particular fragrance. And it's like daisy, tones of daisies, of renewal and flirty freshness all around you. Look at that. That represents freshness. These are daisy notes on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Represent nothing but freshness. It's very alluring and very attractive. I find it very appealing. I love this fragrance. I've wanted it forever. And I've had it for quite some time, but I didn't know what to do with it. I was a concern about presenting it to you because to me, all the daisies on here, the flowers and everything, to me, it makes it look extremely youthful. I walked around this fragrance for such an exceptionally long time just looking at it because I could only um, visualize my loved one, youthful loved ones, Having possession of something like this. I never thought what I would take in something like this, but of course I noticed that they have their own anyways. I'm like, okay, well maybe I can adapt to all of these here daisies and it won't look too youthful for me. So I finally attained myself one years ago, years ago. I don't know exactly what year that this one was originated, but it's been around for quite some time. But like I said, I wanted to present it to you, but I couldn't think of appropriate time to do so. I couldn't bring you yellow daisies in December, could I? That wouldn't have been appropriate. I didn't think so. I couldn't bring you uh, roses or lilies in, the, in December, could I? I didn't think so. So that's why I'm bringing you now all of these warm spring flowers because, honey, I can't think of a better appropriate time for it because they are very flowery, aren't they? But anyways, with this particular fragrance, I find it rejuvenating. The yellow flowers in here are exceptionally rejuvenating. It's atmospheric, it's uplifting, it's soft, it's romantic, and it's delicate and it's very, very appealing. It's, it has a very, very passionate aroma to it. And it's um, it's very exceptionally incredibly lovely incredibly enticing appealing ref refined with floral flowers and the scent is soft it's also soft but it's irresistibly soft it's like a scent that grants you the um it grants you aspiration inspiration aspiration inspiration and aspirations all at the same time because of the fact that it's a lovable pleasant aroma transcending from this particular fragrance i love them both i really really do and i highly recommend them to you so therefore i would like to say right now that i highly recommend uh, mark jacobs bright yellow daisy to you and i have one more Maybe two more, but I'm going to make it quick. I'm not going to go into detail. Okay, since I've recognized, since I have recommended these two to you because of the fact that they're extremely floral, I also want to recommend one more. Well, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't give you them these two without giving you this one. And the one I want to give you happens to be Mr. Pottery, Pottery, Pottery himself, Mr. Narcisco, honey, 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 honey. This right here is such a unique atmospheric fragrance to the point where the powder in it, honey, it's like you are wrapped up in a, you are wrapped up in nothing but a, you're inside a powder container, literally. You're wrapped in yourself in a pillow of powder. It's so refreshing. It's so appealing, so attractive, honey. 
I mean, it's like gardenias and florals and everything and white roses and all of that. And it's so overpowering with powder to where I feel like this is so appropriate for spring, spring, warm spring fragrance because of the fact that it's soft, it's delicate, it's gentle, it's appealing, it's so attractive and so lovely, and it's such a unique and all of my fragrances here, the ones I've introduced you to so far, are extremely passionate. But this one has um, its own ID code, which grants you the allure of uh, luxuriousness, literally, to me. This is exceptionally luxurious, and it falls into the... And anyways, this is Narcisco Rodriguez. And I love the scent and aroma, and I'm sure you will, too. And I highly recommend it to you. But not only that one, I want you to know that I have one more, honey. This is the pillow by itself. This is Chloe. Chloe, 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 Chloe. Honey, honey, honey. This right here. Woo! Honey, <laughs> this is a lovely scent. Every time I pull it out, I can't have a smell, smell, smell. I have several scents that make me smell like this. But honey, this here is such a beautiful fragrance to the point where I highly recommend this one to you for your warm spring fragrances because I gave you a description of exactly what I felt like you should wear this one. I said in the afternoon, in the evening. And this one right here, I would say wear this one possibly in the daytime. Um, yes, as a light fragrance for day wear. And this one right here, I'm not going to say wear this to bed, but I would say this here is exceptionally a romantic fragrance. And this fragrance right here, <laughs> this is at the top chain, at the top of the chain of command for romance. Yes, <laughs> this is definitely a romantic fragrance. Very lovely fragrance. Very, I don't usually say it, it's sensually Yes. <laughs> Woo, honey. I've got to put it on. I don't pull it out often, but when I do, I have to pull it on. I can't even get to the description. This here is a pillow of a fragrance, honey. It's at the top of the chain. I command. Yes. I love this fragrance. It's so lovely. <laughs> I'm in love with Chloe, 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 Chloe. To me, this here is a free, a free, a fragrance of freedom and boldness and adventure. Oh yes, and it's at a pillar by itself. I'm not gonna get all into the notes, but I want you to know that Chloe Norme right here, honey. I highly recommend this particular fragrance. I have wasted my time laughing over this fragrance because when I pull it out, it just makes me smile. It's so lovely, so sweet, so attractive. <laughs> Anyone would love this fragrance. I'm telling you, it's you made to be unique and it's ex and it has its own signature. In other words, ID code. I call it ID code because it has the identification of exquisiteness. Yes, honey. I can't begin to tell you any more than that. But honey, you pick you up some Chloe Nome as one of your spring, warm spring fragrances. No, there isn't no flowers on the top of this, honey, but I want you to know you will love it. All four of these fragrances right here that I have presented to you, they are some of the most exquisite spring fragrances that you can attain. I'm letting you know right now, this happened to be the appropriate time for these fragrances. So honey, get your warm spring fragrances on. I highly recommend them to you. Goodbye.